Mega Gyarados. Well, you already know. this. We've done only one other Mega Pokemon before this, and it was Mega Agron, and I showed you in certain ways how it can be used for absolute destruction, or it can make a comeback. It's not as useless as a lot of people think it is. However, Gyarados, I think, is a no-you, but... Yeah, I think, yeah, Gyarados is an OU. So, when they gave it a Mega Form, that just made it even more OU, if that makes any sense. Now, this moveset is pretty standard among a lot of people, but the one thing that makes it different is the stats themselves. First of all, these aren't normal EVs that you would give a sweeper. No, this is a, these are a little mixed. 76 in HP, 144 in attack, 64 in defense, 16 in special defense, and 208 in speed. Again, there have been some cases where a defensive Gyarados can actually make a sweep, but in this scenario, I did a little measuring, and pretty much, I thought these numbers would do well against other Pokemon of certain natures and EVs and etc. This is the first time I'd actually decide to go adamant on a Pokemon, aside from Jolly or Timid, because usually, speed wins the battle in most cases. I'd rather have a speed tie then I'd rather be faster than my opponent than knowing I'm going to get hit by a truck in a second. Item is obviously Gyaradosite, and the ability can either be Intimidate or Moxie. Intimidate I prefer because if you switch in on a, on a person who's based on attack, then they're obviously going to switch out, and that'll give you at least one free Dragon Nets. Moxie, if you're really, really into, you know, depending on how your team is built, you might want some destruction being laid out completely. Obviously, it needs Dragon Dance, because, let's be honest, Mega Gyarados isn't as fast as some of the other things in OU. And, putting on Dragon Dance, obviously it boosts your already cracked out attack, and you get a little bit of a speed boost. If you get two Dragon Dances off, you basically won. Waterfall for Stab, on top of that, that chance to flinch really does come in handy at certain points. It's also, I think, its most damaging physical move. And before you guys say Aqua Tail, I don't trust that 90% accuracy with my life, to be honest. And then, of course, if you have Mold Breaker on a Mega Gyarados, you are going to need Earthquake. It is a staple among a lot of Mold Breaker Pokemon. Something with Levitate or whatever, it's going to need Mold Breaker, so you can at least do some type of damage on it. And then finally, there's three choices here. Because it's OU, personally, I prefer Ice Fang since there are a lot of Dragon types running around. You could have Bite on it for a lot of very, a pretty high damaging, you know, stab move. And Iron Head because Sylveon, I mean, there are a few fairy types up there too that, you know, people like to incorporate into their team. And my Sylveon, or the Sylveon I made running around there, yeah, can be a threat to this Pokemon, indeed. Alright, now let's go to a battle. This is how I started up. I am Daugi. So, you can see the Mega Gyarados over there. I start up the Dragon Dance, and because Gliscor is physical, obviously he can either switch, or he'll just toxic me. I mean, that's kind of weird. Usually, they run certain things, but whatever. I'm toxic, right? He goes for Protect. I already realized this, so I just decided to do another Dragon Dance. Because why not? Why would you... I know I know the set for Gliscor already. It gets one-shotted, and considering Gliscor is pretty high defense I think that did it was very very well done now he sends out his Heracross and it gets one shotted I'm pretty sure he had a close combat waiting for me if it lived I'm getting chipped away Venusaur, thick fat right Ice Fang, or no Earthquake went for Earthquake and it had a crit I think with or without the crit Venusaur probably would have still died and then you got Gengar finally Levitate but I have Mold Breaker, but it has a Focus Sash on, so I end up dying. But, as you can see, that did, I think, what? That killed off, like, four Pokemon? And then, here's the other battle. I am still Daugi. I switched in, because I knew he was gonna go for Earth Power. I think I let off with Heatran. And, uh, he goes for Sludge Wave, and I already do one Dragon Dance. Now, it's a Nido King, so its defenses aren't that great, so an Earthquake would've one-shotted it. Or, a uh, Waterfall. Either one. Sends out Electrovire. I'm faster than Electrovire because Electrovire is, I think, base 200-something. So it gets one-shotted from Earthquake. Talonflame. Here's the thing right here. Brave Bird. 
I'm pretty sure he went adamant, and I still lived it. That's why there's a little bit in defense and a little bit in health, so you can live stuff like that. Here's the guard of wire. I'm pretty sure that's a mega guard of wire. Yup, moonblast. No, thank you. The waterfall's incoming, and it gets one shotted because guard of wire has terrible defense. A cloister. Ice shard kills me. I got about three, four Pokemon dead, so I think Mega Gyarados is worth the investment. So, on the OU front, what do you guys think? Do you think there could be some improvements to the Mega Gyarados I've suggested? Or do you think there's another Pokemon worth mentioning on the Battle Frontier, if you will? Uh, you can leave your thoughts and comments in the section below, and you can also leave me a suggestion. Well, anyway, uh, I'll catch you guys later.